In January, Di revealed publicly what he'd been dealing with privately for the last few years. Found out I had stage four uh, colorectal cancer or bowel cancer, as people know. I had um, a very big tumor in my, I had a very big tumor in my uh, bowel and a series of tumors in my liver. And um, that sent me into a massive tailspin. Since then, the comedy legend has been sharing the ups and downs of his journey. I have had to go back into chemo and I'm currently doing my second round of six sessions, which is pretty brutal. And offering helpful tips for people going through the same thing. The two gifts I got early on in my path were some awesome lounge pants and a good robe. And I'm in my 17th round of chemo and I've used them every time. Now, alongside some of the country's funniest people, he's working on a special project to help the Kiwis who need it the most. Please welcome Di Hamwood! Got the lounge pants on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tell us about the new project. Well, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm, I'm partnering up with ANZ this uh, definite day to um, support the Cancer Society. ANZ's been behind the Cancer Society for 33-odd years, and they've helped me in my journey. I, um, I, like, I always knew what daffodil sort of daffodil day it's about cancer but then until I got diagnosed I didn't dial in on what it was about and it's supporting the Cancer Society who provide for us and my whanau it was um, providing counselling, um, trips, uh, they provide trips to treatment, they can provide accommodation for people who are out of town so it's amazing what they do and it's so needed so it's actually a privilege for me to be able to give back and sort of by helping it helps myself mm, in a way. Awesome. Tell us about this gig too. Oh yeah, so this is the, not, not, <laughs> oh, that's what I'm here. That's right. <laughs> not only can you just like donate as you would and as you should to um, Daffodil Day, ANC is presenting a thing called the Comedy Treatment. We're going to do a live to air stand up show. Live. Live to air stand up, so nothing can possibly go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> So live to air stand-up show. Because people might not realise that when they see like the, the gala or whatever on TV that's been tightly edited and packaged together, it's never live live. No, people do like six minutes and it'll be honed down to three minutes. This is what you see is what you get. Wow. We've got an amazing lineup. We've got Justine Smith's on, uh, Ben Hurley, Josh Thompson, Melanie Bracewell. Mm, I'm him seeing it. Um, there'll be a way for you to donate. Um, we're raising awareness, getting money for the Cancer Society, plus this is going to be a unique comedy show. I knew you were coming along, so I've got the permanent marker out. I've, I've drawn a QR code so people can <laughs> donate. Oh, right, look right at there. that. Hey, Paul. I'm pretty oh. sure that'll take you through to a donation. Either that or my OnlyFans site. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 most money that's <laughs> But I, I shot a couple of these promos with you for this uh, for the show, and even when you asked me to do it, I was like, man, is it is it all right doing jokes about cancer? I mean, that's a th the fine line to sort. I mean, not all the comedy is going to be about that, but you, that's kind of what you're doing to promote the show, right? So it is a weird thing. There, there isn't anything funny about cancer, and I talk about cancer in my stand-up set, but I don't joke about the actual thing of cancer because everyone's journey is very different. Everyone reacts to things differently and gets triggered by different things. So for me, I find laughs in the, the, the things that go along with the journeys, the weird scans that I've had, the bizarre interactions you have with people, not so much about the cancer itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Di, I'm personally really wrapped to be part of this live show. I'm going to try really hard not to You're the to biggest swear. risk. <laughs> It's live. Yeah. It's live. I'll be fine. What a way to go out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to um, being part of that and supporting you. And everyone's had cancer touch their lives. What else can people do to support the Cancer Society? Well, the thing is, be, become aware of what they do. This is where I want to raise awareness, um, is showing people the actual tangible things and going, they provide accommodation, say, for people who are travelling from up north, and in your brain you go, that actually costs a lot of money. Yeah. Driving people to and from treatment. People, a lot of people do therapy. They're aware of how, exper uh, how expensive that is. They're providing free counselling, not just for the, um, for the patient, but for their whole whanau. Yeah. So it's the thing of these things cost a lot of money. Right. And so when you become aware of how things cost, then you go, actually, 
flicking them my coffee money for today. For sure. is... Yeah, because it's not just one person going through it, is it? Mm. It's, it it's no, a whole. It's thing. a diagnosis for two. It's yeah. a, uh, for, for uh, it's just as hard on my wife as it is on me. So. How are you doing? I'm I'm doing good. Um, I've, I've got one more round of chemo in this session, then I've got a, a few months off. Um, my time frames are very small, so when I feel good, I feel good and I love life. And I, um, I find bringing a smile and doing things like this, getting on board with ANZ, helping the Cancer Society, that makes me feel invigorated. And then I, I find out, I've been doing make, making videos on TikTok, as you saw, and people reaching out to me. Um, normally I just talk rubbish and people <laughs> <laughs> reaching out to me and going, you, you actually helped with this tip or you helped with that. Yeah. It's amazing how giving back can actually give to yourself. You love life. New Zealand loves you. Thanks for joining us tonight. The comedy treatment will be live on three on the 24th of August. You can also be in the audience if you want to see it live. Tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10am. Give it up for Di Henwood. Thanks.